So, our little camping shed tower thing has been vandalized. We are an angry hipster named Henry with a typewriter. Hey, wake up. We have a buddy named Delilah who's our co-worker, or boss. I think it's a co-worker. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, what is it now? Was well, it only one the broken window? I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. I love how she doesn't even know our name. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Okay, so that cave was we approached from the direction of the outhouse. Now, where was the outhouse? We could see the tower from the outhouse. There's the outhouse. Right? Is that it? No, that's a rock. Where was the outhouse? Hold on. Let's consult our trusty guide. Survey communications at the North Canyon. Okay, so we basically just have to travel north of here. Shouldn't be too hard. We just go and we're going to go that way. Perfect. We weren't going the wrong way to begin with at all. Not at all. Oh, what's this? We need a little refreshment. Oh, maybe we should have taken our thermos. No, it's too late. We can't go back for it now. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Well, that's good to know. I mean, surely I could carry a shovel. Do we still have our rope? Oh, God. You know. I mean, if it is only us using the outhouse, it wouldn't be so bad. What was that? What was that? There was a there was a prompt there for a second. Was I hallucinating? Oh, there it is. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Oh. The Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains. For so that's her. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Nope. I'm pretty responsible. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. No, probably no. We got this. Oh. See, every time I see a prompt, I want to stop and ask her about it. Where was it? It's somewhere in there. Wait. I think that's a bug. That's a. That's just a little bug. Ignore that. I thought we actually saw something on the cliffside. Nope. It was fine. Are we still going the right way? Uh, yeah. We're almost there. In fact, it's right here. We were getting so impatient. Impatient. Whatever. Alright. Into the safety zone we go. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. 
Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Four, five, two. Okay. So, I think this is the way we're going. I think. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um... Let's talk about the dog. Keep it light. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your button is still down. No, I don't think he has any idea. Delilah, I can hear you. I'm absolutely sure. Would I you... said I could... Wait, are you talking about me? All Who right. are you talking to? I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, Delilah. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And, um, sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? Um, hmm. Well, looks like I might have lost you. You could be down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need anything. Yeah, um, I don't know. That was really strange. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. So I guess that's all we got. We can't use it yet. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. We got our log. We can just run past it. Which is good. Oh. We got little gaps and bushes. Probably hidden loading screens. Okay. Is there anything else to report? So, Delilah is definitely suspicious now. She's talking to someone. It could have been the dude with the flashlight. She was talking about, oh, he doesn't suspect a thing. But what would we expect? Or what would we suspect? Is the question. We have visual contact with the wires. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Top of the trail. Okay. We're just gonna follow the wire. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. What does this say? Okay. Standard. Nothing. Those look alright. We're gonna come to one area. Where is that? Oh, that's just her tower again. That's really gonna trip me out. I don't like that. Okay. Over the logs. Wow, these things are really crappily put together. Like, why not a straight line? Why not a straight line? Why go through the trouble of putting one up there? Alright. So let's just... A to B. We'll look around as much as we can. Look for hidden goodies. Maybe we'll find those uh, campers from the night before. Oh, we got another supply crate. Supply crate? I don't think that's what they're called. 
Let's go check it out. Maybe this one will have uh, a candy bar for us. We are pretty hungry. Are we? There's probably not a health meter or hunger meter. Oh, this is not the way. This is not the way, my son. All right. Just got to go up and around. Kind of downtown. Why can't we tell her about this crate? All right. Let's just open it, I guess. One, two, three, four. We got some more information. Cash 302. Mule point and the lookout is to the left. We're just going to write down the information. We got the tree sheet. Um, Dave, hey -o, I got... Oh, man, it's too small for me to read. We got some pine cones, a board. Um, oh, we actually do have oh, something six feet down under. Did we already have this book? Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia. Okay, some reading material. Let's, uh. Oh, we can actually take the note. Here we go. Oh, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. So this must be the guy he's talking to from the first chest and, like, he left him one of his granola bars. I don't even know. Uh, we're co workers, amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. Okay, so he's basically saying, you know, we're a business relationship. Let's, uh, let's keep? Why would I need to keep it? I don't know. They gave me the option, so I took it. Oh. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you wanted to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt oh. Reynolds. That's great. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Look at him. He's awesome. Oh man, we can't adopt him though. We should just take him back to the river. Well, then again, we don't have much to do in this place. Maybe we can uh, keep him as a pet in our little bunker station. Screw it. We're keeping Turt Reynolds. Because why not? Nothing's definitely going to befall him. No harm, I'm sure, will come from it. Okay. It's not like he's going to murder us in our sleep or anything. That would be a silly thing. All right, where are we? We are there, and we need to continue to follow the lines up that way. So we got a bit of backtracking to do. We came up for that. Can we actually take damage at all? Oh, long drop down. Lower compass. Okay, back on the track. Follow the line. Follow the line. Oh. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Isn't that like tampering with government property? Like if this is like a government dealy do? I don't know. Could be very bad, that's all I'm saying. But then again, yeah. If it's out in the wilderness like we suppose oh. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I Go can to send hell. someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? 
I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. No. Start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Yeah, like a red eagle. A trail of beer. Wait. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay. So with the amount of cans that we're finding it's almost assured that these two ladies are going to be suffering from extreme alcohol poisoning so I don't think we should terrorize them or try and get back at them for simply cutting some wires they're stupid kids they don't know the repercussions of their actions we haven't found a can in some time oh wait is that their camp we should go check it out. Oh, we can't... Rep Wait, no, that's just a rock. And that is something hanging from a tree. Oh, tightrope. Easy buzzy. Easy puzzy? Easy peasy. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well... You could always pilfer it for supplies. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look like the, the teens because they had like little simple backpacks. Oh! Brian Goodwin's backpack. Brian. Oh, snap. So we have a camera. Well, we, I am flush with ropes now. We have more rope. The pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures yeah. left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Oh no, don't tell me he's some lost kid. Was he a ranger or something? Oh no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. I think we might be stuck here. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire. You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. So at the moment, it's about the size of a skinny pencil. Why can't we go down any of these rocks do we have to literally like oh that's it I didn't see that whoopsie doodle 
I should probably be more aware of my surroundings and look for the rocks. Okay, so we have the general direction of where they're going. They're starting more fires. We confiscated their f fireworks the other night, but we're not sure if that was all they had. I can only assume they have a lot more beer. I'm going to copy the information. We got another note. Take it and read it. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Um. Okay. That's great. We don't really care about that drama. We're going to keep that for later. Oh. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. 